this whole concept of going through the memoir. And the feminist history. You guys are loving it, right? I mean, the feminist history. I mean, I, had, I hadn't even thought of it in those terms. But not only is it a feminist history, but it's a, a sexual revolution yeah, history. The younger generation today has no idea that there was a sexual revolution, that we had all kinds of freedom. Censorship got uh, got lifted. Everybody was smoking pot. Everybody having was having casual sex. Casual group sex, orgies. It was a delightful period. You were having that discussion with a friend about, <gasps> you know, when... That's what I was going to say. When did, when did this feminist notion that women are responsible... For the organ, when did that start? Right, so she was criticizing your essay, and it was written because that was the moment that you went, you had that epiphany and enunciated that within the feminist movement. Like you verbalized, I verbalized it. Grant and I decided to remain a committed couple, but that we would but date, open it. Yeah, we would date other people, and so right away I'm finding out that oh, the guys are so bad at sex, and I mean I'm new at or, at orgasm with Grant. I mean, I've had orgas orgasms with partner sex, but I was having them under duress. I thought I was genitally deformed. I was trying to have vaginal orgasms. Boy, you want to talk about hit or miss. And uh, I did not like oral sex because you would see I was genitally deformed. And that's why a lot of women say they don't like oral sex. It's because that's they very think, common. They think yeah. it's nasty. Don't believe it when women say that, guys. They are lying. Yes, you just have to say they have beautiful pussies. And, and yeah, reinforce that all the time. Lots of compliments. If I got on top and I reached down and stimulated my clitoris while we were fucking, I could come. Clit stim with vaginal penetration. Oh. Where it's at. Clitoral stimulation with vaginal penetration. And a vibrator, and that's really, really well. Cool. That's, that's <laughs> what I like. But for years, I just used my hand. I didn't use a vibrator. I was seen as a, a slut, a, a dumbass. <laughs> you know, why? So my girlfriends are saying, "Why would you want to have sex with another man when you have a lover, and you're orgasmic with him, and he's, you know?" And I said, uh, "Well." I want to be a, a sexual equal. I would like to have multiple partners. And be independent sexually. And, yeah, and, yeah, and learn how to do that. I was battling the sexual double standard. Exactly, and on the front lines. And because of your experience, that's why we have the concept. Women have to be responsible for, for their, their own, own orgasms. orgasms. Yes, mm -hmm. because if you're going to wait for him to give it to you, Oh, it could be a long wait. <laughs> <laughs> and rightfully so. I mean, like you said the other day, a vulva and vagina, that's very complicated machinery. Mm. It's not so easy. What's next week? What is next week? I'm working on this because I have to now, now that I, now that I can handle, you know, casual sex. Group we, sex? We did a threesome first, and then we did group sex. <laughs> I picked this guy that I didn't, in a, you know, you don't want to necessarily like them all that much. It's just, this is an experiment. And it was hysterical. So it was like, it wasn't really a threesome. It was like, because guys are afraid to touch each other. Yeah, they, they don't want the dicks to touch. So it was, yeah. I had two guys, and they were taking turns having sex with me. Well, that's not bad. I go for that. No, it was all right. It was fun. It was, I didn't mind it. And at one point, you know, it was Grant's turn, and now Grant and I are getting it on. And, and Bob gets up and leaves the room, and he goes Go to the bathroom. No, well, whatever, but I, I heard the refrigerator door open. <laughs> <laughs> He's having a snack. So he came back in and the, into the bedroom, and he sat down on the edge of the bed. And he's eating and watching. <laughs> he's chewing on a fried chicken leg. <laughs> And I looked at Fried Grant. chicken and sex, I don't know. <laughs> no, I looked at Grant and he looked at me and we just burst out laughing. We went from, how did you become a feminist? To how did you become a feminist pornographer? And then, then <laughs> how did you become a hoe? <laughs> a feminist hoe. You left the feminist thing out. Oh, you're right. A feminist hoe. <laughs> <laughs> and next is going to become, next is going to be, how did you become uh, a group sex hoe, I guess? Slut. How did you become a slut? And the next a feminist slut, because I ran the parties. Slut's next. <laughs> feminist slut's coming up. <laughs> Let AdamEve.com spice up your routine. Right now, you'll save 50% on one item when you enter the offer code POD10 at checkout. So go to AdamEve.com and add some spice to your life.